Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me, Logunathan. This video regarding the Nursing Officer exam, the questions with the rationals I am going to discuss. The each video you will get 25 MCQs with the complete images and good explanation. For getting continuity of this video, you can check the playlist or video description for the previous part questions. Do subscribe on Nursing Virus channel if you not yet done. And don't forget to click the bell icon and like button so you don't miss any videos. Let's go with the today discussion. Question number 26. An infant is to receive thyroxine sodium. 0.35 mg once a day orally. The medication is available in elixir from 0.25 mg per ml. How much elixir should the nurse administer? The options are 1.4 ml, 1 ml, 2.4 ml, 1.3 ml. So here the correct answer is 1.4 ml. So with a simple formula we can calculate the drug dosage that is the amount wanted to give for the patient equal to the dose ordered divided by the amount of the drugs on the hand into quantity. So in that simple way you can remember that is x is equal to d divided by h into q. So here we can calculate in this way. The dose order is 0.35 mg. The available quantity is 1 ml. The drug, the drug on the hand is 0.25 mg. You can make the simplification and if you are making the final calculation that will come 1.4 ml. That is the amount of elixir we need to administer for the patient. 27. Which of the following is the bronchopulmonary disease caused by the inhalation of fibrous residues of sugar can? Options are silicosis, bagosis, pycinosis, aspartosis. So here the correct answer is bagosis. So here I given the list of various occupational disorders and the exposure. That is anthracosis, coal dust, aspartosis, aspartose dust or mesothelioma, bisinosis, cotton fiber and the bagosis is sugar can and beryliosis and beryllium and former lung and moldy hay. This is one of the, another important question on this area and silicosis, sand or the silica dust and siderosis, iron dust. Try to recall this various exposure and the list of disorder. 28. Capnography is monitoring the partial pressure of the options are carbon monoxide during expiration, nitrogen during expiration, oxygen during expiration and carbon dioxide during expiration. So the, here the correct answer is D. Carbon dioxide during expiration. So the rationals are the capnography is monitoring of the concentration or partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the respiratory gas. It is mainly used to monitoring tool for during the anesthesia and as in the intensive care period. On the picture you can see for measuring of the carbon dioxide on the graph you can see that is a carbonogram. Graphical tool is called as capnogram. 29. Which is the most relevant knowledge about oxygen administration to the client with COPD? That is chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. The oxygen is administered best using a non-rebreather mask. Blood gases are monitored using a pulse oximeter. And hypoxia stimulates the central chemo receptor 1. The medulla that makes the client breathe. Last option. Oxygen at 1 to 2 liter per minute is given to maintain the hypoxic stimulus for breathing. So the correct answer is D. The oxygen will be given at 1 to 2 liter per minute for maintaining that hypoxic stimulus for breathing. So when you are giving that client the low level of oxygen, we can maintain the hypoxic drive completely. Because the person COPD patient will need the prolonged oxygen supply. 30. Food drop is caused by an injury of the tibial nerve, the common perioneal nerve, the obstruator nerve, the sciatic nerve. The correct answer is the common perioneal nerve. In the picture you can see the deep perioneal nerve 
which give innervation to the tibialis anterior muscle of the lower leg which is responsible for mainly the dorsiflexion of the ankle so when it is getting damaged the person will use to get the foot dropping 31 the shunken fontanelles is a sign of turner syndrome hydrocephalus down syndrome dehydration the correct answer is dehydration so when you are assessing or when you are looking for that uh, anterior fontanel it will used to get much shunken that is a major sign for the dehydration of the child 32 assessing the laboratory finding which result would the nurse most likely expect to find in a client with a chronic renal failure the options are decreased serum calcium blood ph is 7 to 2 and potassium will be 6.5 milli equivalent per liter and next option the blood urea nitrogen 35 to 40 mg per dl and potassium 3.5 milli equivalent per liter and ph will be 7.35 and decreased serum calcium and option c the blood urea nitrogen 50 mg per dl and increased serum calcium creatinine will be 1 mg per dl and d blood urea nitrogen 10 to 30 mg per dl and creatinine will be 0.5 to 1.5 mg per dl so here the correct answer is a decreased serum calcium and blood ph 7.2 and potassium will be 6.5 milli equivalent per liter you can make the comparison with the normal value and you can find so whenever the person coming with a chronic renal failure we can expect the person having that hypokalemia and blood ph level will used to get decrease and potassium will used to get high 33 the permanent cessation of menstruation at the end of reproductive life is called as telarchy menarche menopause and precocious puberty so the correct answer is menopause so other option also you should know that is the telarchy is first sign of puberty that is a starting of breast buds and menarche mean onset of menses and precocious puberty is nothing that is a puberty occurring at an unusual early age that is before the age of 13 or 14 years and 34 the largest synovial joint in the body is the knee joint the shoulder joint the ankle joint the wrist joint so the correct answer is knee joint this is one of the largest synovial joint in our body 35 the disposable of expired and cytotoxic drug is by autoclaving municipal waste and chemical treatment and separate landfill disposal so here the correct answer is separate landfill disposal why mean so if the cytotoxic drug if the person is unexpectedly exposing the person may get the various symptoms that is that irritation skin irritation and eye irritation or that skin issues and even the person may feel that nausea and vomiting and dizziness 36 name the given symptom in the psychiatric patient the patient has two contradictory ideas at the same time for the same person or object elation ambivalence confabulation and negativism so here the correct answer is ambivalence so where the person will used to have the kind of and positive and negative statement towards the same person or a same object the other option like elation is the increased level of mood and confabulation is nothing the person will used to fill that memory gap by his own imaginary stories and negativism where the person will be frequently express the negative thoughts 37 the who initiatives rights to sight is named as vision 2015 vision 2020 vision 2030 vision 2025 so the correct answer is vision 2020 so the right to sight is nothing the india is a national forum for eliminating the avoidable blindness by the year of 2020 38 which of the following is true positive end expiratory pressure that is a beep the options are it reduces the venous retention it improves alveolar gas exchange it prevent alveolar collapse it reduce mean airway pressure so the correct option is d it decrease mean airway pressure so here the rational 
The beep is the pressure in the lung above atmospheric pressure that exists at the end of expiration. So mainly we have a two types of beep that is extrinsic beep and intrinsic beep. 39. The pathway through which a cell produces the maximum number of ATP molecules is Bendos phosphate pathway and glycolysis, lactic acid fermentation and TCA cycle. So the correct option is TCA cycle. So on this cycle, the more molecules of ATP will be getting released. So other name for the TCA cycle is citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle. Question number 14. Which of the following is not the visual aid used in the health education? Textbook, poster, film strips and audio cassettes. So here the correct answer is audio cassettes. This is a non-projected audio, audio aids. The remaining three are coming under the visual aid. And question number 41. The microorganism closely associated with dental caries is Options are Streptococcus sanguis, Urea plasmic species, and Canidia albicans, and Crinibacterium species. The correct answer is Streptococcus sanguis. The rational is the Streptococcus sanguinis, the formerly known as Streptococcus sanguis, is a gram positive facultative anaerobic coccus species of bacteria and a member of the very dense streptococcus group. So this is the main reason for being a microorganism where affecting the dental caries issues. 42. Which of the following is not the true regarding the birth weight of the newborn? Options are A. Birth weight less than 5% of the normal on the day of birth requires further investigation. B. The typical birth weight of the newborn is between 2.7 kg to 4 kg. C. Newborn lost 10% of their body weight or a birth weight by the 2 to 4 days of age. Option D. The newborn gained the lost birth weight by the 10th day of the life. So the correct option is A. The birth weight less than 5% of the normal on the day of birth requires further investigation. We no need to do any further investigation for this 5% of normal birth weight loss. 43. Which of the following is the model based on an individual's relationship to stress? the reaction to it and the reconstitution factor that are dynamic in nature. Options are Paris's human becoming theory, universality theory, Roy's adaptation model and Newman system model. The correct option is Newman system model. So this is the main thing where the individual and that environment were connecting each other for making the stress production and how the person were getting relieving from the stress. Here I given the further explanation for the other options also. The option A, the Paris's model, rate the quality of life from each person, the own perspective as the goal of the practice of the nursing profession. The universality theory, it provides a perspective on the consistent formalization of the universe phenomena and the universe as a whole. And the Royce adaptation, a person is the biopsychosocial being in constant interaction with the changing environment. He or she use innate and accurate mechanism to adapt to the those environment. 44. The small for gestation age and large for gestation age infant having polycythemia because of hypocalcemia, hypoglycemia and hypoxia and hypothermia. So the correct option is hypoxia. So before that we should know what is meant by polycythemia. That is refers to an increase in the number of red blood cells in the body. It will used to occur when the mutation in the genes cause a problem with the blood cell production. So when the person having low blood circulation with that oxygen carrying blood, the person used to have the polycythemia issues. And 45. Which of the following is incorrect about SWAT analysis for the decision making? S is for strength, 
W is for weakness and O is for opportunity and T is for time. So here the correct answer is the T is for time. So the rational is actually on the spot analysis the T indicate for threats. And 46, a 22 years old Meha comes to a doctor because of a missed menstrual period. She has hypothyroidism for which she takes thyroxine. She has an artificial heart wall for which she takes comedin. And she recently started tetracycline for acne. Urine human chorionic gonadotropin is positive. Which of the following medications should the patient continue to take the during pregnancy? Here, she is taking three medications after making confirmation of her pregnancy. That is a tetracycline, comedin, and thyroxine and oral contraceptive pills. So here the correct answer is thyroxine. So this is one of the safest drug during that pregnancy period. Suppose if she is not taking the thyroxine tablet during the pregnancy period it will be making the risk of that baby the baby chance to develop mental retardation 47 the thiamine has been prescribed for the non-alcoholic patient the rational for administration of this medication to prevent huntington's disease alcoholic dementia alcohol withdrawal syndrome and vernic korsakoff syndrome so here the correct answer is vernic korsakoff syndrome the thiamine is useful in preventing the vernic encephalopathy that is that avoiding the symptom of confusion ataxia and ophthalmoplegia and as well vernic korsakoff syndrome and 48 which of the following is a substance that decreases the pain transmission and cause an inflammatory response the substance p endorphin and prostaglandin and histamine the correct answer is endorphin so the rational is the endorphins are a chemical produced naturally by the nervous system to cope with the pain and as well the stress they are often called as feel good chemicals because they can act as a pain reliever and happiness booster and 49 the term which is used to describe idiosyncratically formed new words whose Derivation cannot be understood easily is mannerism, mutism, neologism, and negativism. So here the correct answer is neologism. So where the person were newly coining the word by himself or herself. And if you are asking the meaning of those words, she used to give the special meaning for those words. Question number 15. The parrot-like repetition of the words spoken by the another person is known as echolalia, neologism, echopraxia, and dyscalculia. The correct answer is echolalia. So here is nothing. What the parrot, the trained parrot will do mean? Uh, it's a kind of an whatever words we are telling to the parrot, it will use to repeat. So similarly, whatever the words you are saying to the patient, the same word will be repeated by the patient by himself. So that is called as echolalia. And thanks for joining with me for the today's discussion. And stay connected in the YouTube and as well the Facebook ID. You can see the description for the Facebook link. You will get more videos related with the nursing officer exam preparation in the future. Thank you once again. Thank you for watching this video. If the video is informative, subscribe my channel and like and share the video. You can write your comments too.